weird hair today good morning good afternoon good evening hello creepy friends i'm just arranging my camera welcome to lambs and bobs where i have just finally had my beauty bay order now they are meant to send you a tracking code they are meant to send you an email to say that it's been dispatched my order was not even told that it had been dispatched either way i'm here to talk about a product that i got in it which is this thing it's called fairy drops quattro and it's a mascara and i have no idea about anything with it let's look at the packaging it is literally in japanese that is all i know i saw it on beauty bay it retails at about 18.50 if you were looking on beauty bay this weekend you will know that they had an offer on where if you spent over so much you got so much percentage off i ended up going up to 60 and this was part of my up my order so i'm going to experiment with this to you today now the front the fairy bit on the front that you can see on the lid it reminds me of the fairy liquid logo although i'm pretty sure that it's not fairy liquid based so according to this it's a quattro curved brush that i don't quattro curved brush catch curl up and fabulous eyes supposedly like these could these be my eyes we will find out well, let's get it out of the packaging first of all so it's a really pretty pink tubey like this really nice design all over it different kind of glows and different things eyelashes pretty jewels fairy drops oh let's have a look at the tube okay so my initial impression of this is it looks like there's quite a lot stuck to the brush it seems like it might catch on the brush quite easily and i don't really want big spider lash eyes if you've seen those you know where you see those girls and they've just got like four lashes where everything's clumped together i don't really want to go for that look it's not attractive normal thing for me we start with subversion lash primer you don't have to use this or you could even have a less expensive one smashbox apparently do a really nice one but that's 16 this one was 15.50 also bought from beauty bay but last month i also just got some stiller products a stiller foundation oh i've missed my eyeliner slightly there a stiller foundation and a stiller concealer because i literally don't own a concealer and i think it's about high time i had one don't you i always have to go back to this eye because this eye's eyelashes are shorter my lovely white eyelash look i literally have to hurry up because i really am going to work soon i'll just show you quickly the two stiller products i've got i've got the illuminating liquid foundation and perfecting conceit always on this channel it wouldn't be our channel if we didn't drop something and the perfecting concealer slightly worried it's on the dark side but we'll find out it seems really thick so i'm slightly concerned about that as well i also got a free eyeliner it was an ico one but it's like a teal blue that's the swatch of it right there if you can see i don't know when i'm gonna get to use that so eyes primed my mirror is down here oh camera scare I'm kind of balancing the camera on three perfume bottles down here. I'm not, I'm literally not going to take anything off the brush to start with. I'm going to just go in, start with the left eye. Okay, it doesn't seem to be clumping anything. Ooh, that is a pretty length. Now look at that with one lot. That is just one little quick layer that I've done that's a really nice eyelash it's not clumped together at all in fact it's singled everything out really nicely i think i should also say that my eyes kind of match the lid i've kind of done this pink purple fairy ironically kind of look i did it yesterday as well if anyone watched the thunderbirds video i'm sorry boy thunderbird fans you probably don't want to watch me apply makeup but you know when i started slams and bobs the point was bobs meaning anything i wanted to do i will do and this was part of it here we go with just one layer by my standard on each eye some people think that one layer is just but 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 that's a layer not to me i really think it's nice can you see visible length difference on me because i can i think it's nice okay i'm going to now finish both eyes and report back and the finished production is right here on my eyelashes let's have a look I'm actually insanely happy with this. The more I applied it, I was sort of worrying that it was going to clump, but it didn't in any way. It really has kept everything really fine. It's not matted together. And it's really lengthened my lashes well, I think. I'm really overall pleased. 
I do question whether I'll pay £18.50 for this. I think what it affects on is I compare most things to um, They're Real by Benefit. What you have to consider is most of us would quite willingly sit here and say, yeah, we pay the £19.50 price tag on They're Real because it's 100% worth the money. But the only downside to their reel is, as we've discussed before, it's very, very hard to actually get off the face. I would have to comment back from this evening and see how it, like, how easily it came off the eyes. I think so far, as a first impression, this is lovely. My lashes have really been lengthened. You can really see them over my eyeliner, though I have done finer eyeliner as of recently and not in liquid anymore. Do tell me what you think. I still have no idea how to say anything on this. The packaging is entirely in Japanese. It's all very confusing. But so far, the fairy liquid fairy drops, I really like it. Do tell me what you think. Have you bought this product? Would you like to buy this product? Would you pay £18.50 for it? What do you think of my eyes? I'm very happy. See you later, everyone. Bye.